on today's episode of the Cryptoverse. So I've got some good news for any of you holders of the basic attention token out there. I think you'll appreciate this. So many of you may already be familiar with the Brave browser project. In fact, some of you might be using it right now to block ads on the Cryptoverse on YouTube. So the basic idea behind the Brave browser is to make advertising opt-in rather than opt-out. So you could argue that ad blocking is technically opting out because ads appear by default and then you have to do something proactively to block the ads. That's the idea. Now, ultimately, the Brave browser will pay you, the viewer, in the basic attention token if you opt to turn ads on, right? It's a brilliant model. It works for creators, it works for viewers, and it works for advertisers. Now, whether you're aware of the Brave project or not, you probably have noticed that there is a bit of a privacy movement going on. So a story came out recently showing how the Brave project is taking full advantage of this movement and doing so to further its cause. I mean, if you are sailing to a destination, it helps if the wind is blowing in the same direction, right? Because you've got a tailwind, right? So actually one of the ways in which I always make sure I'm sailing in the right direction with my cryptocurrency investments is to use today's sponsor, which is Wise Cryptocurrency Portfolio. So in addition to um, cryptocurrency ratings, Weiss also provide a portfolio recommendation service. And based on their ratings, this portfolio service, it provides reports every week that give you a model portfolio to follow. So this includes like exact coins, whether to increase or decrease your position in any given coin, as well as a breakdown of the percentages to allocate to each coin according to the total portfolio, and then what percentage should be held in cash. Now, the part of money that I personally set aside and dedicated to this service has performed three times better than the crypto market index this year. So I'm very happy with that. So if you often feel lost at sea in regards to cryptocurrency information and you just want a simple and clear recommendation service to follow, then Wise Cryptocurrency Portfolio could be for you. If you sign up using my referral link below, well, you'll help to keep this channel going. So head over to thecryptoverse.show Click on sponsors to learn more. And if you hate those ads and sponsor slots and you want to get rid of them, you now can do by going to my Patreon, which is also linked on the website at thecryptoverse.show. So now that the new European General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, is in full force, the Brave Project are petitioning to trigger an EU-wide investigation into the practices of ad tech companies like Google and other digital advertising companies. The argument is, is that these companies had two years notice and two years to prepare for the GDPR coming into effect. And now it's in force. These tech giants are still falling foul of it. That's the case. That's the complaint anyway. Now, this is an important case because um, it will see whether the new European privacy laws have any teeth or whether tech giants like Google are so powerful, they can just brush it off and ignore it, which is a concern for us, right? And also, let's not assume they're guilty, right? Like I said in the last video, just because there's an accusation of something, accusation of wrongdoing doesn't mean they are guilty by default, right? That's why it has to go through the legal process. So Reuters reported this, and uh, according to Johnny Ryan, who is Brave's chief uh, policy officer, he said, quote, there is a massive and systemic data breach at the heart of the behavioral advertising industry. Despite the two year lead in before GDPR, ad tech companies have failed to comply. So they are saying that even now when a person hits a website where Google handles the advertising, in that moment where the page loads, intimate personal information and data is collected and then broadcast to dozens of companies for the purposes of profiling and advertising. So if you remember back more than a year ago when I interviewed Brendan Eich, the founder of the Brave Project, inventor of JavaScript and so on, and actually the Mozilla Firefox browser, when it was first launched, Brave uh, explained how the browser fingerprinting process worked. That's actually what Brendan Eich called it in my interview. And this is like where a website will use information even as a name as your computer screen resolution or your phone screen resolution and use that in combination with a bunch of other data to uniquely identify you as a web browser. 
And that's how they track you between different websites because if the basket of data becomes the fingerprint and it matches, that's logically the same person. So basically, if Google get pinched for this under the GDPR laws, they can be fined up to 4% of their global turnover. And uh, what, how much is that, you might ask? Well, according to this statistic website, in 2017, Google's revenue amounted to 109.65 billion US dollars, which could mean a fine of up to $4.4 billion if it's the full 4%. But that's not really where the big damage will be done. The real damage will be if this sets a legal precedent and it scares the hell out of smaller ad tech companies. So to me, overall, this is a masterstroke from the Brave project on two fronts. Number one, if Google gets cleared, right, and they get away with it, right, and they're actually behaving correctly, well, this is some of the best possible PR for the Brave project, since they are positioning themselves as the white knight kind of charging in to slay the evil dragon in defense of the people. So every time that I've read an article about this, it always mentions Brave as kind of the white knight, the one that's built for privacy, that blocks ads by default. So even if it turns out Google are behaving themselves, still all of that exposure to Brave will give people confidence to use it. And number two, if Brave wins, it means thousands of ad tech companies are gonna need, are gonna need a new uh, compliant tech platform alternative for advertising. And what do you know? Brave happens to have a privacy-centric business and advertising model ready-made for them to join. So I do love Brendan Eich. You know, the guy comes across, he's so gentle, but he's such a genius at the same time. Now, Basic Attention Token, by the numbers, is ranked 45th on CoinMarketCap by MarketCap, and it's currently trading around 15 cents. Its biggest exchange is Binance, where the basic attention token trades against Bitcoin. So if we take a one year view of the basic attention chart here, we see that BAT has fluctuated quite a bit over the last year, but it's maintained in this range of between 2,000 and 6,000 Satoshis. And it hit its annual low actually just a couple of days ago on the 12th of September around the 2,000 Satoshi mark. So my fellow BAT holders, keep an eye on this story because if it goes our way and Google gets pinched for this, well, the basic attention token may increase sharply as a result as demand increases sharply. So that's all I've got for you today. If you like this episode, go ahead, hit that like button. If you disliked it, you can hit the dislike button. Please leave me a comment below with some feedback and get subscribed. And if you would like access to my very best material, such as my structured online courses, check out my website, cryptoversity.com. You can click on courses and take any one of these online courses that I've created for your educational delight. If you want to follow me on the social networks, check out the podcast page on the website and you'll find all the links on there. So I will see you later on today for the weekly live stream. We're going to play the Bitcoin lightning game today. So check out the uh, link to that in the video description of the live stream event. Download the testnet beta version of the lightning network app and we're going to send some you know, test net lightning uh, Bitcoin coins backwards and forwards to each other instantaneously for almost zero fee live on the air. So check that out. Get prepared because it needs to sync with the Bitcoin blockchain. But other than that, I'll be back then. So until then, it's me, Chris Coney saying bye for now.